Hello and welcome to our software tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will walk you through how to enter itemized deductions in the tax preparation software. After completing this tutorial, you should be able to enter itemized deductions in the software, including medical and dental expenses, taxes, interest, charitable contributions, and miscellaneous itemized deductions. If you itemize deductions, you must use Form 1040 and Schedule A to do so. If you itemize deductions, you are allowed to take a deduction for any qualified medical and dental expenses you pay during the year. In the software, you can enter your medical expenses in either of two ways. Enter your total allowable medical expenses in Schedule A on Line 1 or link from Schedule A Line 1 and itemize your medical expenses in the Itemized Deduction Detail Worksheet. This is the preferred method of entering the medical expenses. This worksheet provides space for you to enter each medical expense separately. This allows you to keep a record of these expenses in case it is needed later. The software then totals the medical expenses and enters the appropriate amounts on Schedule A lines 1 through 4. In our example, the taxpayer and spouse pay the following medical expenses during the year. They paid $1,500 for prescriptions, $350 for eyeglasses and contact lenses, and $575 for co-payments for physician visits. To add a Schedule A to a tax return, click on the Add Form Display Form List tab at the top of the active form. Type in the letter A. To locate the Schedule A and then press the Enter key. From Line 1 of the Schedule A, press the F9 key. In the Entry Links window, select the New A Detail Itemized Deduction Detail Worksheet link, and then click OK to continue. In the Medical Expenses section of this worksheet, Click on the text entry box under Other Medical Expenses. Type Prescriptions and then press the Enter key. In the field of Ownership, type J for Joint and then press the Enter key. In the Amount, enter 1500 and then press the Enter key. From here, enter the description, Ownership and Amount of the rest of the Other Medical Expenses for the Taxpayer and Spouse. Returning to the Schedule A, we can see that the amount of the medical expenses carry forward to line 1 of the Schedule A. Line 2 of this section is the total AGI of the taxpayer, which when multiplied by 7.5% is calculated by the software on line 3. Since the amount of the limitations is more than the amount of the expenses, in this case, the taxpayer and their spouse do not have any medical and dental expenses that they can claim as an itemized deduction. There are several types of taxes you can deduct on Schedule A as an itemized deduction. These are listed on lines 5 through 8 and include certain income taxes, real estate taxes, and personal property taxes. In tax preparation software, enter all of the states and local income taxes in their respective input forms, such as Form W-2 or 1099-R and the Federal State Estimated Tax Paid Worksheet. The software calculates all state and local income taxes paid to Schedule A, Line 5A, and selects the box on this line. You can generally deduct real estate tax you paid on your home. Enter the amount of deductible real estate taxes on Schedule A, Line 6. In our example, the taxpayer will be deducting their income taxes, thus we will need to click on Line 5B. And then press on the F3 key to remove the red on this line. The taxpayer in our example has deductible real estate taxes which are reported on line 6, real estate taxes on your principal residence not listed above. You can usually deduct personal property taxes that are state or local taxes. In this example, the state of the taxpayer's residence charges a yearly motor vehicle registration tax of 1% of the value of the vehicle, which we will need to enter on line 7. There are two main types of interest that are deductible on Schedule A. These are home mortgage interest and investment interest. Enter the amount of your deductible mortgage interest on Schedule A, line 10 or 11, depending on whether you received a Form 1098 mortgage interest statement. If you did not receive Form 1098 and paid that interest to an individual, enter on line 11 the individual's name, taxpayer identification number, address, and the amount you paid. The taxpayers in our example paid mortgage interest and did not receive Form 1098 for the interest that they paid. So we will enter this amount on line 10. They also bought a house and paid points, so we will now need to go to line 12, indicate the ownership, 
and then enter the amount of points they paid. If you borrow money to buy property that you hold for investment, the interest you pay on that borrowed money is investment interest and you may be able to deduct it subject to certain limits. When you have figured the amount of investment interest expense that you can deduct, enter that amount on Schedule A, Line 14. Taxpayers can deduct qualifying contributions to charities. This deduction is entered on Schedule A, Lines 16 through 19. In the software, you will want to use the Itemized Deduction Detail Worksheet to enter the charitable contributions. In our example, the taxpayer and spouse made cash contributions to charities as well as non-cash. They also had a previous year contribution carryover. In the cash contribution section of this worksheet, we will first need to type in the name of the first charity, indicate the ownership, and then enter the amount. Then repeat this procedure for the second cash contribution. We will now need to scroll down on this worksheet and click on the description entry box for other than cash contributions. Enter the name of the charity, indicate the ownership, and then enter the amount. Now, scroll to Contribution Carryovers. In the 50% Cash and Other Property column, for the previous tax year, enter the amount of the carryover. The software calculates the contributions allowed this year from the data entered in the previous sections. Press F10 to return to Schedule A. The software has entered the amount of cash contributions on line 16, the non-cash contributions on line 17, the carryover from the prior year on line 18, and total contributions on line 19. Certain other expenses can be claimed as itemized deductions. These are called job expenses and most other miscellaneous deductions and are entered on lines 21 through 23 of Schedule A. These deductions are subject to a 2% limit. The taxpayer in this example had unreimbursed job expenses. Click on line 21, enter the type of expenses in the first field, indicate the ownership, and then type in the amount of these expenses. We will then need to go to line 22 and enter the tax preparation fees that the taxpayer and spouse paid. On line 23, we will enter their expenses for a safe deposit box and their investment expenses for the tax year. Line 24 shows the total deductions. Lines 25 and 26 limit these deductions based on the 2% of adjusted gross income limit. The allowed miscellaneous itemized deductions are calculated on line 27 by the software. The software calculates the total itemized deductions on line 29 by adding lines 4, 9, 15, 18, 19, 27, and 28. Notice that the total itemized deductions have calculated on line 29. The software automatically figures whether the itemized or standard deduction is larger. This amount is carried to form 1040, line 40. If the taxpayer chooses to use itemized deductions, even if the standard deduction is larger, select the checkbox on form 1040, line 40 that says, if you elect to itemize deductions even though the standard deduction is larger, check here. If the taxpayer is required to itemize deductions, select the checkbox on line 39B if you are married filing separately and your spouse itemizes deductions or you are a dual status alien, check here. This checkbox is highlighted in red every time you use the filing status married filing separately. You should now be able to enter itemized deductions in the software including medical and dental expenses, taxes, interest, charitable contributions, and miscellaneous itemized deductions into the tax software. Thank you for viewing this tutorial.